Next Wave DV's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and I'm here with Peter from Iconoscope, and you guys have this incredibly unique camera design that uh, is gonna offer a lot of options for filmmakers, so why don't you tell us about it? Yes, uh, this is our new camera called the Acam D2. It shoots uncompressed RAW in full HD. It records in a format called Cinema DNG, which is an open standard by Adobe. Um, and it has a, a CCD with a global shutter. It records onto these small memory cards that we make. And this is 160 gigabytes, and it stores about 30 minutes of footage at 25 frames. Um, and it has onboard battery, a small Sony battery, lasts for about an hour. It's very light, it's about three pounds or 1.5 kilos without the lens. And it comes with um, four different lens mounts. This is the PL lens mount. It comes with a C mount or IMS or a Leica M mount. And now for converting those files over to something that you would use in a standard NLE, what kind of options are there for that? There are several options. Uh, at this point, Adobe, of course, supports the format, so you can uh, take the files into After Effects and render them out into any format you would like, like ProRes or uh, any QuickTime format or, or and so forth. Uh, then you have Iridas, uh, which is a grading software from, uh, from uh, Germany, and they support the format in all their software. And also uh, DaVinci announced today that they support Cinema DNG with real-time playback. Uh, and uh, Avid is working on support and uh, who else is working on support? MXF for Mex makes a QuickTime plugin, so you can read the files in any QuickTime application. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And we also develop a, s a small transcoder that will transcode into QuickTime ProRes. Uh, so that's the options right now, and there, I'm sure there's more to come real soon. It's great, and I see that because of the small form factor, you're able to use it in systems like this 3D rig here. Yes. This is two AKM D2s uh, on a P on test technique freestyle rig. Uh, the two cameras uh, weigh about uh, two kilos each with lenses, so it's like four kilos of, of camera, and the rig weighs about seven kilos, so that's about 11 kilos or 22 pounds roughly. So this rig will work for shooting handheld or on a Steadicam or on a crane. So we think this is a really good uh, setup for, for that kind of work. And we have a lot of people um, asking about uh, the 3D capabilities of our camera. And we have a 3D interface. Uh, uh, you connect uh, a cable between the cameras. And then uh, you set one of the cameras in a master mode and the second one in the slave mode. So the first, whatever you do with the first camera, the second camera follows. And it's a line sync. Um, interface, so both images are um, synced together. And is this, is this camera available now? Yes, we have shipped uh, a handful of cameras, at, uh, and uh, we have about 60 pre-orders right now, so we're shipping, uh, uh, shipping cameras right now, and if you order a camera today, you will get it in a couple of weeks' time. Well, thanks for your time, Peter. Thank you very much. Where can people go to check out more information on these cameras? Uh, you can go to our website. It's called iconoscope.com. And uh, iconoscope spells like this, I-K-O-N-O-S-K-O-P.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.